Tic Tac Cocktails. You do the Tic Tac? Tic Tac? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but Tic Tac Cocktails, apparently this is a thing. Yeah, okay. Yes. And uh, so we had Beater and Brianna go through and um, figure out what are some TikTok cocktails we want to watch the video. Okay. Kind of uh, react to the video. Who's making the cocktails? Br Brianna. <laughs> let's see, let's watch the first okay. one and react to uh, my first TikToks. Yeah, yeah, okay. B. It's not a bee, it's a hornet, it's a hornet. Hey, so I drink whiskey and I would like a refreshing drink. Do you mm. have any recommendations for Whiskey that? on the rocks. Why are you so asking me? says this to me, I usually make them this drink. Oh, oh she's a board team. Okay. Whiskey. Yeah. You can use any whiskey. I'm gonna use Jack Daniels because I like Jack Daniels. So okay. give me one shot of that. So Jack, that, wow, she eyeballed that shot. That was a healthy lemon shot. Lemon juice, that was, that was a shot. And then squeeze a lemon. Ginger beer to it. And ginger beer, ooh, I don't like it. ginger beer. So, anybody can so very citrusy Jack Daniels. And ginger. Ginger beer. Yeah. And a lemon garnish. And a lemon garnish. This tastes okay. really good. Oh my god, that's perfect. She had to react to so her much. own drink. That's talent. Yeah. That's acting <laughs> talent right she there. Like... She's got chops. <laughs> Ugh, this is garbage. <laughs> yeah, take it no back. No tip for you. Brianna, make us a cocktail like this lady did, please. All right, let's begin. This is Tic Tac's lemon whiskey drink. Let's begin with ice. Ice. Is that too much ice? No, it's good. One shot whiskey. Whiskey. This is <laughs> one shot whiskey. No! Ah! This is Eleanor whiskey. One shot of whiskey. Why? Bitch! What the hell, Peter? Now. One shot of whiskey. I think that's two shots. It's fine. And then lemon juice, like so. And put the lemon. What? No. I think like that. Squish it. Like that. Yeah. Lemon. Okay. Ginger beer doesn't say how much. Yeah. So we'll do some. Good. And garnish with lemon. Garnish. Oh, snap. Garnish. Oh, oh, with like a like a piece. No. Garnish. The lemon, the lemon that you haven't cut. With lemon. Okay. <laughs> this is the lemon whiskey drink with Eleanor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You got a pouring it oh, Whoa! Oh, God. What are you doing? I'm a bartender. <laughs> did you put the whole lemon yeah, in Yeah, did there? you put, you just dropped a half a lemon in there. I'm an expert. <laughs> is there just one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who goes first? No, we need, need, a straw we need to react at the same time. <laughs> You stick it together. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it either. That's too close. <laughs> what did you do? Um, I can taste the lemon peel. I can taste it's just lemon. It's like watered down lemon water. It's watered down lemon water with a little bit. <laughs> Brianna. <laughs> How accurate do you think you were in the replication of this cocktail? Well. That's not, okay, so that's you not did. a good start. So it's supposed to be a lemon garnish. Yeah. But Alex told me to put the whole lemon in. He said take the whole lemon and peel off of that one. It's easier to peel. <laughs> you rat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you didn't squeeze this in there. Yes. You did. <laughs> Wow, no wonder it tastes like solid lemon water. Should we do a real version or are we just all the way f***ing around? No, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> minus the whole lemon, minus that it is accurate. It is okay, thick. so this was nice. It doesn't look like, look, like this has plenty of juice. Oh, I didn't oh. squeeze that one. Did you squeeze the lemon yes. in there at the appropriate amount? Yes. yes. All right, so I just watched Brianna making these for the first time. 
If you want to give the creators of these cocktails an actual fair shot, we're going to put their names and the ingredients in the description down below. It's not fair, man. Brianna making it isn't fair. It's way too crisp in the bitter and the sour. And yeah, it's just a sour, it's a sour crisp uh, citrus drink that may or may not have alcohol in it. Next one, what do we got? Please don't put Jagger and Fireball in the same category. Uh, Fireball's a flavored whiskey. Yeah, it says, and Jaeger is a flavored, yeah. Okay. Let's put them in the same cup. Ugh. There's a fireball. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Stop pouring! He's yelling at himself. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is. Legend has it. It's made with real German deer blood. Mixy, mixy! Oh, I think you got this, Brianna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little more Jaeger. Yeah, it's 216. Why am I doing this? Cheers! I'm gonna put it in the same category. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right back up. No. Uh, and then, ooh, right back in. Why is it spicy? All right, uh, do we have Jaeger? This drink from Tic Tac is Fireball and Jaeger. So we'll do two shots of Fireball. Okay. And two shots of Jaeger. Oh. Jaeger and Fireball, the frat boy special. Brianna? I don't uh, know that I've ever had, do I have, I may have, Jaeger I surely Meister. I've had Jaeger. Okay. Oh, you, she really made it. And just one. You want a separate glass? Sure. Yeah, get get another glass, I'll split it, I'll split it. I can't believe okay. I have to take it. So, jeez, she's so angry. She's so rage. She's an angry bartender. This is not how it was on the TikTok. Brianna, you gotta get off the roids. Thank you. I hate shots. Takes me back to college. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's not great. You know what it kind of, kind of reminds I me of? Jaeger. It kind of reminds me of like a, <laughs> like a Southern Comfort. Yeah, but with too much licorice. Yeah. I hate like licorice. Like you, you melted licorice in a Southern it. Comfort. And then you get the Bernie from the, that's not the best. Uh, okay, send me another one, because that was obviously, that's not a cocktail. Yeah, it's that just, was a joke. That's just throwing together some booze and see what happens. Let's make a zero proof old fashioned. Zero proof old fashioned. There are our sugar cubes. Okay. Blood orange bitters, these are alcohol free. I'm gonna do two teaspoons. Okay. So, Splash okay. of club soda. Okay. Put a little up. Two ounces of our ritual alternative whiskey. Ah, oh, they have an alternative. Uh, oh, they sell alternative whiskey. Right. This is obviously trying to get those old fashioned classic flavors right. without any Without booze. alcohol. All right, okay. bring it on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we've seen people try to do that in the past. We'll see yeah, how close yeah. this gets. But you got the orange peel. Express the oils. Lemon peel. Express those oils. And that's your zero proof old fashioned. He didn't do cherry, interesting. All right. I am open minded. I love me an old fashioned. We'll see uh, what it is. Brianna? I'm gonna need something non alcoholic after that last round. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Next, we have a non alcoholic whiskey drink, which we'll be using Ritual. We need a sugar cube and two teaspoons blood orange bitters. Two teaspoons, wait, do I have a teaspoon? Guys. That much? Splash of club soda. Club soda from H-E-B. <laughs> Just a splash. All right. <laughs> oh no, it's all over my notes. <laughs> Two ounces of non-alcoholic whiskey. Ritual. Two ounces. Okay. All right, ice next. Ice. And orange peel. Okay, give it a little twist. And that's it. Am I supposed to muddle the sugar cube? All right, and this one's called the non-alcoholic whiskey. Perfect for dry week. 
A big thanks to Helix for sponsoring this episode. Helix, a really comfortable mattress is delivered to your door very conveniently. So we've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for months now, still love it. And it all starts with the sleep quiz. And just like whiskey, there's not a single perfect mattress for every single person out there. Just gonna ask you a handful of questions to really dial in those preferences for the right mattress to you. They're gonna deliver the mattress to your door. It's gonna come in a box for free, it's free delivery. You set it up, take it out of the box, it unfolds and goes like and then you put it there and you sleep for up to 100 days. You have a sleep trial to make sure that it is the exact right mattress for you. And if it's not, you get all your money back and they pick the thing up. And of course, they have a 10 year warranty and financing options to make it convenient, whatever your situation may be. So I never realized how profoundly different and interesting and trippy my life would become once I got genuinely good sleep. On the Helix mattress, my dream state has become robust, potent, thick, creamy. Where am I? Whoa. What is going on, man? If you're looking for a new bed, you definitely want to check out Helix. The link's in the description below. You go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey. You get up to $200 off and two free pillows. My drinks are creamy. Not that kind of creamy. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh. That's. Okay. Wait, wait. That sounds wait. gross. Oh, oh, you gotta give him. A, oh, oh, don't <laughs> get your hand. Easy. Oh, there you go. What? Well, hold on, you gotta express oh, it. Oh, you, you didn't express it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got it. It's fine. Your Rex's fingers are all over it now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this smells very orange, like orange dreamsicle. It's orange drink. Like a Christmassy holiday vibe in there, like so, a, like a spice and yeah. cinnamon spice and clove. I have smelled cocktails that smelled kind of this orangey. Yep. But and this clove y. But I don't know if I've had a the an old fashioned that was this orangey. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, there's a weird Wow. What the hell is there is a weird flavor in there that is not right. If a, it's like rubber. If a mint molested an oak chunk of wood. Yeah, yeah, but like uh, not the good kind, like spear. Not the good kind, like of spearmint. <laughs> not the good kind. It of was mint. the bad molesting of the yeah. oak wood. Like a spearmint. Yes. Which is the worst of the mints. Yeah. Make it go away. Go. Did you try that? Thank ungrateful. You. <laughs> you got it. Ungrateful. Brianna, did you try that one? Yeah. What did you think? Ah, oh, liar. All right, let's do the next one. Liar! Yeah. I've seen that guy. Can, can you show me how to make a sweet bourbon drink? Yeah, sure. Go for a little. I'm gonna call this one. Gentleman's fig. Gentleman's fig. Um, blueberries. Wow, right. muddled blueberries. So far, that so That is good. a lot of berries. What is that? That's the Savage and um, something or other. That's like, the guys in California. I like that bottle. Yeah. Viginza, wait a minute. Is that a wine? I don't know what Viginza ends. Some ice. Yeah, oh, just, he's ginger. looking for the ginger kick. Okay. We use that in our non-alcoholic cocktails. And then he just showed off his bottle opener. All right, so top with ginger. And then a little lemon. And stir. a little bit of a stir. Okay, so I'm genuinely interested to try this. Most of the stuff that was in there, I think, could work, but we'll see. Next, we have a drink called the Gentleman's Fig. First, muddled blueberries. A layer of bloobs. Muddle them. Muddle them to extinction. Next, lemon juice. Oh yeah. In here. Next, bourbon. Two ounce pour. Shit. Next, fig vodka. We will do a one ounce pour. Figs, yeah. Stir. Add ice. Ginger beer. Lastly, lemon twist. Lemon. Twist. And 
that is a gentleman's way. Wow, that's... <laughs> you know what this looks like? This looks like a Starbucks drink. This is, right now, more chunks than yeah. anything else. Ready? It smells like a passion fruit tea. Very tart. It's tart. Oh. I like that better than anything that we've had so far. I do too. But it doesn't taste like alcohol or whiskey or a cocktail. It literally tastes like a Starbucks beverage. The booziness is hidden, which is one of the main things people are looking for in cocktails. No. They just want something sweet, but with complicated a ingredients. Yeah, it feels exotic, and there's a little kick under there, so you can drink something effortlessly and get drunk. Yeah, I'm not a fan, because I, like I don't like that kind of drink. The thing I was expecting it to be was sweet. It's, it's not. It's tart. It's tart. Yeah, it's tart. There's sweetness in there. Uh, this is closer to a lemonade, like a real lemonade. Oh, yeah. Not just a sugar bomb lemonade, but like a real... If I went into this thinking lemonade, I think I may even like it more. Yep. It's the best so far. A blueberry lemonade. I think our uh, presentation... It's a little lacking. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Oh, no! Sour Patch! It's got candy. This is a joke episode. I wanted Brandon to make me real cocktails. Oh, so it's a shot of vodka, a shot of peach schnapps, okay, half, God. a half shot of blue Krakow. And Krakow. some Sour Patch Kids dusted onto the top of top it. With, I, top I of hate Sprite. sour candy. Top of Sprite. You're just like cherry picking all okay. the things I dislike. <laughs> I've never had a nonsense drink like that. <laughs> yeah. Where it just went like it's blue colored and it's, it's my got level candy. Captain Crunch. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here we go. And lastly, we've got Drunk Kids. We'll do one ounce of vodka, one ounce of peach snaps. And then one ounce. Curacao. Blue Caracao. Oh my gosh, that's really blue. Looks like toilet water. Mmm. Sprite. Just any amount that you'd like. It's good. Ice. Okay. Lastly. Sour Patch Kids. My muscles. Come on! Oh, I got it. It's Sour Patch. All the kids getting drunk. Drunk kids. Cheers. That's good. Thank you. Is Brianna mad? We'll find out. Yeah, we will. There's Sour Patch things floating in the bottom. Aren't they supposed to be on top? I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe I'm drinking something that looks like a ride at Disneyland. <laughs> so now there's Soggy Patch Kids? <laughs> yeah. What does it smell like? It smells like Sour Patch Kids candy. It smells like blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Oh my god. It's actually kind of tasty. Yeah, damn it. It's like jello. It like, tastes like blue really? colored jello. What? Oh, it's kind of good. What'd you say? Oh, it's like candy. It's liquid candy. It is. It's, that'll get you drunk, which is. Oh, yeah, which I guess is the goal. I hate that, that I'm enjoying this the most. That is just candy. Mm hmm. I feel like I'm 12, but I'm getting drunk. 